fight! Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now host on Project Phoenix Media. So in this portion of the video, here I am in the process of um, putting together my PS3 together. I just successfully flashed my PS3, so I'm doing the process of putting everything back together. But I thought it'd be a nice time, a good time to talk about what I did to get rid of the infamous one triple zero eleven zero zero error, which basically is um, when you try and do a read from the NOR chip, you can't because you don't have a very good enough um, seat of the clip to the NOR chip. So let me show you guys what I did. So let me go ahead and just remove some portions of my um, flash cable here. You see what I did was I had some tape here, just keep it in place here. And here's my uh, little flash clip here. But the real important part of it is right here. Here's the heart of the whole matter. So let me go ahead and just take off some of the tape here. Um, my desk is a little bit of a mess here, but let me just go ahead and take some of this off. So what I ended up doing was I did a three-step approach. First of all, I had the NOR chip, and what I did was I shaved off the right-hand side and the left-hand side of that NOR chip because apparently there is a resistor on the, on the chip on the right-hand side and the left-hand side that I never accounted for. So I had read tons and tons and tons of forum guides and these guys suggested, oh, you got to remove, uh, shave off the, a little piece of your NOR flash clip and you should be good to go. And I didn't think that was true. So in the beginning, I got all these errors. And then I said, you know what? The hell with it. I've taken apart the PS3 at least five, ten times. And I was getting nowhere. And I was getting really frustrated, guys. So I hope that from my experience, you too will learn from what I did and you won't get frustrated as well. And hopefully you get a successful read the first time, you know, and that'd be awesome. Now I got to take this off carefully because I don't want to break anything. And uh, maybe what I did was a little bit hardcore, a little bit extreme, but it's the only way I can make sure I got good pressure on my E3 flasher clip here. And uh, let me just take everything off first and I'll discuss the process of what I did here. So here's some packaging tape that I had on my E3 clip. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off uh, real slowly here. Don't want to break anything. And this is just packaging tape if you guys are curious. No, I did not use electrical tape. I've seen videos like that, but I did not use, do that. Okay, so, so how do you do this? What's the best way of doing this? Well, the first thing is... It's good to have like a toothbrush, and I had some isopropyl alcohol. This is the 91% isopropyl alcohol, so let me just show you a video clip of that. So here it is right here, guys. It's 91% isopropyl alcohol, and what I did was I had taken it, and I have brushed my clip, um, the clip and also the Nord chip as well. So what I did was, for example, uh, let me just take this tape off here, and then we'll just talk about that real quickly here. Sorry about that, guys. And um, the E3 Flasher is a really great solution if you got some time to kill and you want to downgrade your PS3, highly recommend it, fat or slim if it's compatible. So let's say that, you know, here's my toothbrush and I just scrub it like here and on the sides here, for example, both sides. And then on the underside of the NOR E3 flash, Flasher clip here, um, here you go, same thing, you know, right hand side, left hand side. So I'm just simulating that, but that's what I did. And then what I also did was I had a very tiny flathead precision screwdriver. And it's hard to see, but in this video section, what I did was I took this and I scraped like this. I scraped it on the right-hand side of this clip. And then I turned it over. And then I also scraped this side too, like this. And scraped it off, scraped it off, scraped it off. I don't know, a couple of millimeters on both sides. So let's take a look at my NOR chip in more detail here. So let me get this, move it up closer to you guys. And um, wow. Let's see how this looks. Cool, this is awesome. Okay, so. Here, right here, it's hard to see, but there is this transistor thing or resistor thing right here. So it will get in the way of your NOR clip. There's a bunch of other transistors and components down here. They do not interfere, so don't worry about that. And then here's another one. I'll try to point to it in my screwdriver here. 
this guy right here. It doesn't look like it will interfere with your nor clip, but just to be better safe than sorry and make it easier on yourself, just shave off that damn side on that nor flasher clip and then put it on. So how do you put on the nor flasher clip? So let's go ahead, let's get my clip here. Uh, let me move my camera a little bit because I'm going to need both hands for this. Okay, so when the clip is brand new, you're going to hear like a click. But since I've done reseeding so many damn times, uh, it doesn't click anymore. But um, it does, let me just remove some excess tape here. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So, look. So you put it on. It doesn't make a clicking sound anymore, but let me put it on. It looks so simple. It really does. But you just put it on, put some pressure on both sides evenly like this, and then rub it around like this, make sure it doesn't move. And then you got to get down on eyeball level and just make sure it's flush with the motherboard. I'll try my best to do it on this camera, but uh, I don't have a flash here. But let's zoom in. See, it's sort of flush. And then if I were to rotate the motherboard around, let's see if I can get another view of that, guys. Um, okay. I know it is hard to see. Hopefully my camera can do it. It's hard to see, but it is really flush to the motherboard, okay? So then what you want to do is get some packaging tape and just tape it on. So I taped it on first. So once you put the first tape on, and I don't know if I really need to do this or not, but after I taped it on, then what I ended up doing was I had, uh, I'll just show you guys. I had this nickel. So the nickel helps put even pressure on top of the chip. And then I had this uh, additional pad. This is like a pad that goes on the bottom of your chair, for example, to protect the floor. So I just happened to have that. So you just put it like on top of here, for example, right? And then I figured out that since I have a fat PS2, the CECHL model, that I didn't have enough um, cushioning to put constant pressure on top of this NOR chip. So what I ended up doing was I had an extra piece of foam that I got from like a shoe box or something like that, or a hard drive, a hard drive box packaging actually, and you just tape it on top like so, and just tape the whole damn thing down to your motherboard as tight as possible, for example. And you should get rid of all your read errors, and you should be good to go. And then for the rest of this, um, the flasher clip, just tape it to the motherboard so it doesn't get in the way. And then it just goes out to your E3 flasher, and you're good to go. So hopefully that's a good in-depth view of how I did my E3 flasher clip to my Nord chip. And also, last but not least, if for some reason you have, let's say, bent pins, um, what you could do is, and it's really hard to do, but um, thankfully none of my pins are broken, is if you were to look very closely on this Nord chip, there's a bunch of pins in parallel. Might be hard to see on this camera, guys. Sorry about that. But there's a bunch of pins here. So what you want to do is you take like a needle, like, a, like I had a very thin needle, for example, and I put in the hole behind each pin and just popped it out a little bit, like this way. Down, 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 down. And the other side, up, 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 until it's parallel, so they're all even. And then you just clean it with some isopropyl alcohol, and then you're good to go. So that is um, um, what I did for my E3 flasher clip. And if you guys have any questions, by all means, let me know. I suffered, I don't know, 5, 10 hours easily installing, not installing, installing, not installing, taking it out of the case, putting new thermal grease on, all this stuff. And now it's finally done. So I am a survivor, and I can definitely help you guys too. It's awesome. So you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.